Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to week two of our English 101 class. I just want to uh, start this week off by doing a little overview of our calendar, showing you where some of our helpful things are located in the course shell, and providing you with everything you need to be successful this week. So let's take a look at the calendar. If you go into Canvas and click on the calendar tab here, you'll be able to see exactly what this week contains. Uh, so tomorrow, Monday, or today, rather, when you're watching this on Monday, uh, you are going to be taking a look at the Murder Not Muck Duck PowerPoint in the Modules tab. Uh, this PowerPoint talks a little bit about um, the ideas in Murder on the Orient Express, some of the ways they might connect with the essay, and some of the themes that we'll be looking for in our reading. So lots of good stuff coming up for us there. Uh, Tuesday, you're going to be completing a discussion board where we're talking about the first couple chapters of Murder on the Orient Express, so hopefully you have your books by now. If you don't have your books yet, um, you're waiting for them to ship, or you haven't made it out to campus, something like that, uh, if you have a library card at any of the Mid-Columbia libraries, or probably any library ever, um, you can get onto their online databases, sign into the library website, and uh, I know for sure at least the Mid-Columbia libraries all have e-copies of Murder on the Orient Express, so until your physical copy gets here, you can have an e-book for free to read along with. Uh, I think there is a two-week checkout period, so that should get you through until your book arrives. So uh, make sure to answer those questions. As with all our discussion boards, you want to write in complete sentences, you want to proofread carefully, and give additional details where needed. Uh, specifically in these questions, you can also use quotes from the book to help support your answers. All of those are really great strategies for building your uh, understanding of the novel, which will then make writing the essay easier. So all of these smaller projects are going to build very nicely into the essay. So it's worth taking the time to invest to uh, make sure that you're answering all of that in its uh, complete form uh, so that you can do well when we get to the essay. Uh, we do have a PowerPoint you'll be watching. Again, PowerPoints are awesome. Uh, later on in the week, as we're looking at close reading strategies, how to get the most out of the novel. Um, and we use some work from How to Read Literature Like a Professor, which is a great book by Thomas Foster. We have some readings in the Modules tab available for you there. Uh, I also have a great reading for you, How is Justice Different from Revenge? We're going to deal with some of those ideas in the discussion board. Uh, another PowerPoint. I know you guys are just so stoked for this, right? PowerPoints are amazing. I mean, let's be real. They're just the best. Uh, so you're going to be watching another one on murder mystery tropes. Agatha Christie was called the uh, queen of mystery, the queen of crime. Pretty cool title to have uh, because she wrote so many murder mystery novels, guys. Like 66 published murder mystery novels. That's an amazing number of books. Uh, so she more than earned the title. So take a look at our murder mystery tropes. She set the stage for almost all the murder mystery writers that came after her. Many of them use exactly her formula when they're writing their books. Uh, and then we'll round out the week with some more reading of Murder on the Orient Express. I do just want to give us this disclaimer. It's been said before. Uh, but as you're reading the novel, um, read, like, read the novel. Don't watch the movie and think it will be equivalent to the novel. Uh, either version of the movie, um, both are really well done, very interesting great cinematic choices, uh, but they differ from the book in some pretty significant ways. So I would actually encourage you to wait until you're done reading the book to watch the movies. Um, they are great movies. They're fun to watch, uh, but they are quite different from the book itself. So don't watch the movie and be like, oh, I can totally answer the questions and do the essay based on this. It'll become very obvious that you haven't read the book. So read the book. It's good. Uh, and then watch the movie afterwards because it's also fun. So if we go into our class to see where all of this handy dandy stuff is located. Uh, go into the modules tab and you'll see that our class is organized uh, in such a way that we have everything we need in these project folders. So project one, this is our first major essay. We've already gone through the diagnostic stuff uh, and I'll be grading that toward the end of this week. So expect to see that back uh, probably by Thursday at the latest. Uh, project one, Murder in the Orient Express. Everything you need to be successful in this first essay is in this folder, so check it out. 
We've got all our contextual information. This is where most of our PowerPoints are. So the recorded lecture for Murder Not Muck Deck you'll be watching on Monday right here for you. A really excellent video clip about Agatha Christie and some of the real life mysteries she had. Oh, super, super fun. So check that out. Um, literary analysis and close reading strategies. Here's your recorded lecture there for later on in the week, uh, as well as murder mystery tropes. And then uh, we'll be working with some symbolism, uh, historical context for Murder on the Orient Express. All that's going to be coming next week. You can, of course, work ahead, though, if you want. Uh, supporting materials. These are articles I thought would help you uh, as we get closer and closer to the essay. Uh, you'll notice that there's some French in our Murder on the Orient Express book. If you want uh, some vocabulary and French language guide, I've included that for you here as well as a diagram of the train car if you want to see where people were at when the murder took place. Sometimes for visual folks, that's handy. I'm very visual, so I like seeing that. Uh, some chapters from an excellent book by Thomas Foster called How to Read Literature Like a Professor. All of these can help deepen your understanding of the text. Uh, a Psychological Approach to Revenge and Justice. This is going to be an article I'm going to highly, highly, highly recommend you quote in your essay. We'll talk more about this next week, but if you want to get a little jump start this article is super de duper helpful as <laughs> those are technical terms super de duper uh helpful as you finish out your reading this week and as we move into next week might be something that uh expands your understanding of the text and then next week we're going to start talking about the essay but once again if you like to look ahead everything you're going to need for the essay is here as well as a recorded lecture uh where i walk you through the prompt we talk about the outline, the thesis statement, all that good stuff right here for you. So everything you need to be successful in Project 1 already lined out for you in this modules tab. So do make sure to check it out. The stuff you're going to need for this week is in this contextual information section here. And then you can go into the discussions and your discussion boards for the week will be there as well. Uh, that's pretty much it for the overview of this week. I hope you're enjoying reading Murder on the Orient Express. I'm looking forward to seeing your ideas in the discussion boards uh, and seeing how you interact with the PowerPoints here. As always, if you have any questions, reach out. I'm here to help. Have a great week, guys, and happy reading!